these niggas wanna know what it tastes like What it tastes like, yo, what it tastes like, yo They wanna know what it tastes like, yo All this ice, it just tastes like snow Get kimonos and let's fly to Tokyo Pretty, pretty, please Welcome back to my channel So today, y'all already know what it's gonna be A story time So You gotta get your snacks your water, your cranberry for juice, and your sunflower seeds. So you gotta get all of these. Uh, okay. See, some, this stuff is already open. Like my water already open, my cranberry juice, my sunglasses, juice, my chips. Because I was eating it. So I was like, okay, well let me just get on here and say story time while I'm eating. So that is what I'm going to do. So y'all already saw that title and y'all already know what this story time is about to be about. So we finna just go ahead and get into that because... This story time was like, it was crazy. This story was crazy. Like, and I don't need y'all all in my comments talking about some, you spit on somebody, you nasty, this and this, whoop de woo. Like, watch the whole video before you be in my comments talking about it hostile because I don't have time. I will, I will block you. So, yeah, just watch the whole video. Then you will see. So, as you can see, it all started when I was in the um, seventh grade, and the girl, we gonna call her Sarah. We just gonna call her Sarah. So. Me and Sarah was cool. Like, me and this girl was cool. So, we wouldn't know, oh, that's my best friend type stuff. But, like, I was with her, like, every day at school. I was with her every day at school. I was talking to her and everything. I was with her at school. I was talking to her and everything. So, people... So people saw it, but people knew like me and Sarah weren't best friends. So after all that, okay, so that so fast forward. Sometimes after lunch, oh, stop teasing me. So sometimes after lunch, um, our coach would take us to the gym. So we going to the gym, like me and her walking and talking and stuff. So as we in the gym for like an hour, hour and a half, something like that, he like, uh, all right, come on, we gotta go, we gotta go back to class and <sighs> he like, all right, come on, we gotta go back to class and this and this and stuff like that. So I'm just like, all right, big. So I'm getting my stuff, and like he tell us to sit on the floor, right quick, so he can do a head count, this and it. If I get another notification from Twitter, I'm gone. Okay, me too. I'm just gonna do it. So yeah, he tell us to sit on the floor for a head count, stuff like this. So I'm like, okay, big. So. Hold on. I just come here to do so good. Y'all need to go get it. I just hate that the stores don't have the six pack that I used to get. So now I gotta go to Walgreens or something and get the little small one. The little small six pack for photo. As we like sitting down, me and her talking, like we just having we just having a simple little conversation. I don't remember what me and her was talking about, but we just having a conversation. And all of a sudden, you know how when you talk, a little bit of spit come out your mouth. So, as I'm talking to her, when she gets out of what she's saying, I say what I gotta say. So, as 
So, as I'm talking to her a little bit, y'all, when I tell y'all, it was so small. It was so small. You know how when you... You know how when you... How can I put it? You know how when you... You run your hand under the water and then you flick the water at somebody. That's all it was. And you know that's not a lot. So it was like a little flick of saliva fell onto her hand. And I ended up seeing it. And so when I saw it, I was like, oh, I'm sorry, this and this. God, this God, I just. Oh on her like what for one that is trifling for two i don't want nobody to do me like that because that's a one-way ticket to send you to jesus so i do it like i spit on her just a little bit she made it a whole big deal she was like y'all she was being all extra like she was being so extra everybody in the whole gym stopped what they was doing and was looking at me and her like like, girl, you doing way too much. Like, you need to pipe down. So she was like, oh, you spit on me. This and this. whoop de woo That's nasty. You nasty. This and this. So she get up on, like, some little rowdy stuff. And, like, she think that she could, um, stand over me. So I get up. And, like, me and her, like, we both talking to each other. So, like, we both really yelling at each other. So my cousin was in the gym with us at the time. My cousin came over there. My cousin was, okay, I was in the seventh grade. My cousin was in eighth grade. So she came over there and she stepped in between us and she was like, don't be talking to my cousin like that. This is you being extra, like you doing all this for what? So like, I just was dead. Like the rest of that day, like me and the girl did not talk. So I want to say like a couple, like, a couple of weeks later like all of this stuff was building up like the day after all of that happened like this girl was making indirect threats but people knew she was talking about me and i knew she was talking about me but i'm the type of person like i just really let people talk until they put their hands on me because like i wasn't really too much worried about her because i'm like girl like you and like i just like really just took everything out of me just to spit on you and i'm like girl it wasn't even that serious and i said i apologize for one so i could see if i didn't if i said i wasn't sorry then yeah okay i get it but i just still don't give you the reason to like be all extra so when um so like for a couple weeks So for a couple of weeks, like she making indirect threats. She telling people, "Oh, she gonna fight me. She gonna beat me up. This and this." And I'm like, "So people coming and telling me this, but I'm not really caring. Like I'm like, girl, I'm not worried about you. Cause if you really want to fight me, you come to me. You will hit me. This how I know you really not about that life. Y'all just gonna eat it, but I don't really want them up. But I'm finna still eat it. But hope oh, anyway." So, weeks gone by, this girl still making indirect threats. So, it's this one day. I remember it like it was yesterday. Actually, it was my sister's birthday when I got to fight. It was on my little sister's birthday. So, this is exactly what happened. Was it on her birthday? It was either on her birthday or it was like uh, the day before her birthday. It was one of them, but I knew her birthday was coming up like this quick. It wasn't no week. It wasn't no in a week. It wasn't no none of that. It was in a couple of days. Or it was a day. I don't really know. So, she, um, so it's that day I just woke up. Like, my whole mood was change my whole mood just changed like when i woke up i was like i was just saying to myself this morning i was just like something not right 
So I'm not right. I don't feel right, but I was still getting dressed for school and stuff like that. But this particular day, it was cold. It was October. I'm, um, I put my hair in like the little ponytail like I am now because I had some braids. I put my hair in a ponytail and I put on some, um, some boots because it was cold. So I put on some boots and stuff. So... When I got to school, as soon as I walked in the classroom, like, the tension hit. So, I'm like, something not right. I'm like, I feel like something gonna happen today, but I don't really know what. So, okay. So, this particular day, I had packed some. I had, did I have a baby? No, I had a purse. I'm always carrying purses. Like, if y'all know me around my wall, it's purses all around my wall. So, I was carrying purse today, and this day in my purse, I had some body mist. So, not, um, perfume, but it's like when you get out the shower and you put body mist on. So, I put some of that in my purse. Keep that in mind. I put body mist in my purse. So, yeah, keep that in mind because all of this is going to weed up. So, I put some body mist in my purse. And I put on some lotion and stuff like that. So, when I go to the classroom in school, like, I just feel the tension right there. So, I'm like, okay, I ain't really thinking of the matter. So, like, half of the day went by. I'm still feeling this way. So, I'm like, I ain't, okay, well, ain't nothing happened yet. So, I guess it's just me. I guess it's just, I don't know. So, we ended up leaving the gym because we ended up going to the gym that day too. So we ended up leaving the gym going back to class. So me and this girl, we was in the same class and everything, homeroom. So this day, we was like, it was, I want to say it was like 15, 20 minutes. Not even that long because it happened so fast. So I want to say like 10, 15 minutes that... Like, we was finna get ready and go. So, okay, so the way the teacher had us, she had us, like, in rows. So, like, okay, so, before all of this, the teacher asked me to go give another, she gave me something to give another teacher, and when I came back in, that was all, like, the whole class was all talking and stuff, and she was talking to them. So, I didn't really think nothing of it. I just go right back to my seat once I got back in the classroom. So, all of a sudden, I just heard the teacher say, If anybody get the fighting, uh, I'm not breaking nothing up. This and this. I'm just going to let y'all fight. Y'all just going to get a suspension. This and this. So, I thought, I'm thought i thinking this kind of sketchy. So I'm like, okay, she just said that out of nowhere. So, I'm like, whatever. So... Tell me why I started, um, I started, I took out my body meats and I started spraying it on myself because I'm, I'm gonna leave, like, okay, I'm the type of person, I'm still like this today, I still take body meats and perfumes up to school because, like, every time I leave out of one class, I put on some smell good to go to another class. I don't know why I do that, it's the habit, y'all, I put on smell good just go to another class and I'm like what I'm not looking for nobody but I'm, who I'm trying to smell good for but anyways I put that on so then all I hear is she over here spraying this stuff not knowing I got allergies this and this and so she started doing a little fake cough and she started <coughs> <coughs> so I look I thought okay I'm tired of her making in our regrets, so I'm like, all right, big. So, um, I guess I explained too much. She was like, Dan is strong. This and this. So, you know what I did? That this day, I started this fight. Now, any other fight, I did not. All my other fights, I did not start. But this particular fight, I did start. This day, I started there right this day. Because I was like, no, nah, she keep playing with me. She keep making indirect threats. And she keep saying stuff about me. Knowing that I hurt her, she trying to make me say something to her. And knowing that I haven't said nothing to her all these weeks, she getting mad because I haven't said nothing to her. But now she really pissing me off. So I'm like, okay. So, 
I take it out again and I start spraying it in the air. And so she started, <coughs> so when I'm spraying it, I'm like, <coughs> allergic. <coughs> like, I'm being petty. Like, y'all, I'm being so petty because I'm like, yep, I got all the energy today. I, I sure do. So, y'all, I'm being extra petty. Like, and the teacher, like, she ended up telling me, um, you need to start spraying it. So then the girl, the girl, Sarah, looked at me and was like, yeah, because you're really doing too much at this point. And I looked at her. I looked at the teacher. I looked at her again. I said, and so what? I said, you must go do something about it. So she didn't say nothing. So, okay, so the rows that I was just telling y'all about, the teacher had us in rows. And, like, this, this one made it so sketchy because the teacher never called us by rose ever she never like okay we was finna get ready and go and like normally we get ready and go everybody like when 215 hit we all just get up go out of class this and this not this particular day so um she called us by rose i felt like that was kind of sketchy because she never did that so the way it was so i was sitting in the front of my row and she was like in the back of her row so when you so as you looking at it when she called her row she the last person so she gonna be at the end of the line but when she called my row i'm the first person so i'm gonna be right behind her I feel like the teacher did that on purpose. That's why I was, that's why to this day I feel like I'm like that was sketchy. I'm like she did that on purpose. She wanted us to fight. So so she called us by rose and stuff. So I'm behind her. So she's still doing that little fake call. So knowing me, Petty Erlen, I do the baby, I do the same fake call with her. I'm like <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> and so y'all this is what led up to everything she's in front of me I'm behind her when I do that cough she turned around and she pushed me she pushed me so okay so I had my binder in my hand and when she turned around and pushed me I like jerk back a little bit, but I didn't jerk back to the point where I fell. I jerk back like, you know, when somebody just push you, I mean, you gon' fall back. But like, my reflexes is, is so on point. When she pushed me, I dropped my binder and I just hit her. And like, we just started fighting. So, me, when I fight, I don't be knowing what I'm doing, none of that. I don't, like, if I'm kicking you, hitting you, punching you, scratching you, elbowing you, I don't know. I'm doing it because I don't think when I'm fighting, I just, I'm just fighting. Yeah, my legs coming off, and it's kind of irritating me. But I don't want to take it out because I'm like, I'm going to do this video. But yeah, so... Like, we just fighting. And so, the teacher that was like, I'm not breaking up the fight. Y'all, she was the first person that broke that fight up. And so, when she really couldn't break it up, because I'm still hitting her. Like, she, like she telling me, stop it, stop it. I'm she editing the video right now, and I just thought about it. So, this day, I, um, I ended up having my nails done, because I always keep my nails done period but i ended up i was i had my nails done even though i needed a i needed a um, fill in anyway i had my nails done and like when i got the fight all my nails well all my nails didn't come off but most of them did so i just really took the rest of them off but when i came back to school after my three days i had my nails done and like yeah so i'm over here like I, I, who you know that come off suspension with a nails done what but yeah y'all 
that's just something that I want to just this girl nothing she's telling me stop it Errol let's stop it and so I'm still hitting the sock I'm still hitting the Sarah girl so I was gonna say Sasha and that's not even her name but I get Sarah and Sasha mixed up but anyways um, I'm still hitting the Sarah girl, so I'm I'm not listening to nothing nobody's saying. So she get one boy to pull me, one to pull her. So like when they finally get us off each other, like y'all, uh, she talking big stuff. Like she just sitting there talking, and like why the boy holding me? I'm just like this. I'm just over it. I'm over everything. I'm like I'm ready to go. Can I go? Like okay. She got that. No, she didn't win. Me not say she got this. She got that. She got that whooping. She got that. Mm-hmm. So I'm tell y'all why she didn't win because like yeah. So for me, I thought she won. I ain't gonna even lie. I really thought she won. But until I saw the video, y'all wish I still had the video because somebody ended up sending it to me, but they had to delete it. Because they ended up finding out that he was the one that recorded it. So, they ended up having to delete it. Um, yeah. So, all of that happened. So, she grabbed me and the girl. Like, she take us down to the office. So, I'm in 7th grade. My sister is in the ninth grade. So, neither one of us have a car. So, therefore, we ride the bus. So, the bus is finna leave, and my sister noticed that I'm not on the bus. So, like, she asked, I guess she asked the bus driver, like, can he hold on for a minute while he go, while she go look for me in my class right quick? Because she knew exactly where my class was. So, he like, yeah. So, I'm guessing, he tell her, yeah, because, like, obviously she got off the bus coming to get me. So, she see, I'm in the office. And so, when you walk through the front in the office, it's that little glass, and, like, you know when you know somebody from anywhere. So she see me instantly. And so she look at me like my sister already knew what didn't happen. She said, come on. So the, te so the teacher was just like, um, no, she can't leave yet. She got to get her papers. My sister looked at me and she said, come on. And she grabbed me and we left out. So I got on the bus and I called my mama. And so I... I called my mama. I was just like, I just got to fight and this and this. And so, my mama was like, okay, uh, I'm going to talk to you when you get home stuff like this. Because she couldn't believe me and she was at work. So, when she came home, she asked me what happened and stuff like that. And so, she was like, well, did they get your suspension papers? I was like, no. I was like, because I was finna miss the bus. So, Eric just came and got me and we just left out. So, she was just like, okay, well, I'm just going to assume that you got three days and I'm going to call up there to the school. So, she called up there to the school. At the time, we was getting a new principal, so he answered. The reason I know he answered because she was like, well, he told me and I knew we was getting a new principal, but it was a man. So, yeah, so she was like, well, he told me that, yeah, them are the rules and we get the fine three days. But like this, so, my mama, right now... Well, when she watched this video, she gonna know I started the fight. Because at first, she didn't even know I started the fight. But, if you really just think about it, I really didn't start the fight. She actually did start the fight. I just started the fight that day. But, yeah, that is the time where I spit on a girl. And that's why we fall. And then, after that, like... I want to say a few months after that, she ended up getting an argument with another girl. And so, okay, no, nah, nah, hold on before I tell that. So, when I came back to school after them three days, y'all, the teacher was being so pity. She looked at me and she was just like, now I got to figure out how to fix my dry erase board because somebody, um, somebody want to fight. The whole time she was looking at me. Okay, so the reason she got to fix her dry erase board was because in the video, I didn't even know that I rammed the girl head into the head, I mean, into the um, dry erase board. Because I'm like, when I'm fighting, when I'm fighting, I do not think I don't be knowing what I be doing. So, 
yeah, I rammed her head into the dry erase board and I guess it caused a little dent or whatever. So, and all I know is when we came back to school, she had a big knot. <laughs> She had a big night on here and I was like, y'all, I didn't have nothing on me. I didn't have no scratches, no bruises, no nothing. But she had a knot on her forehead and I'm like, <laughs> so I'm guessing. <laughs> That's where I ran her into the board. And, but okay. So I want to say like a few months after this, she ended up getting an argument with this other girl. And like during the argument, this girl was like, um, this girl was like, Girl, you think you all took when Errol and Beach out? And so I was like, I'm in the classroom. I'm just sitting there. I'm like, here's my name. And I knew they were arguing because that day we had a substitute. So the substitute, like, you know how substitute is. They be so, they be scared to say something to the church. And so, really, I'm sitting there doing my work. They arguing. I'm listening to the argument, but I'm not really paying attention to them. All I hear is my name. And so. I looked up, I was like, okay, I was like, don't put my name in it, because I don't need my name in nothing when y'all go to the office with it. I was like, so, don't put my name in it, it was some months ago, this and this, and so, but yeah, after that, like, me and the girl, we didn't say nothing, nothing else to each other after um, the old incident, because I feel like, with me, I feel like, I will never, I will never be back friends with a person that I fought like if I fought you either we was friends we wasn't friends none of that it ain't no talking to me it ain't no none of that it ain't no being friends with me it ain't no nothing of that but like if we just got into an argument okay even though I don't really argue with people like that because that's a waste of time but if we just got into like a little slight argument I mean that's not nothing you didn't push me to the point where I really didn't really like you didn't really put me <laughs> in a position where I really wanted to just fight you like that but yeah like there's a time where the girl fought me because I spit on her and like yeah that's just that's just that like this girl was acting extra like I just <sighs> like who does that like, well, I know some people did be like, oh, when I see her, I'm going to spit on her, this and this. No, that's not me because that's trifling in my eyes. And if somebody ever, like, like I was doing, I could see if you were just talking and you just spit on me. And then I even said sorry. But I could see if you just talking and you just spit on me. Okay, that's not nothing. Like, it's just, it's really not nothing, like. It's a little bit like you just go wash it out stuff like that. So, but if somebody just spit on me like forcefully on purpose, don't even do it. Don't even think about it. Don't even try it. Cause, girl, I'll be smiling on my mugshot for putting you in the hospital because that is so disrespectful. That is so disgusting. It is just nasty. You don't do that. But, yeah, y'all, this is the story time on when I spent on a girl and she wanted to fight me and this. So, if y'all like this story time, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and you sure make sure you turn on post notification bell on when you want me to post another video. And, y'all, I barely even ate my snacks in this video because I was like, I even said in my head, I don't think I'm going to be able to even eat all these snacks. But yeah, like, but yeah. After that little thing, like, going into the eighth grade, she moved. Never saw her again, isn't it? But yeah, life goes on. Life goes on. But make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications so when you know that I post another video. Um, make sure you go follow me on my social medias. It will be on the screen and down in the description below but that is all i got for y'all today and i'll see y'all in my next video